uh, good day guys welcome back to the co graphic design training so uh, if you want to design a night of worship praise for any kind of a church flyer I mean or banner or poster I think you need to watch this so I'm going to show you how you can create a church program flyer so you shall use your PC lab without wasting much of our time these are new trends church flyer design that you can actually imagine so let's get started so i will go to size i will set uh set my size to be 988 by one two let me let it be 988 by one two zero okay so in case you experience this there's one thing you need to do just go close your picture lab then open it back to a default and then you just sell this 988 so you will have the exact uh, uh exact size of your choice so once you achieve that then we set our background size i mean background color to be white okay but you check by clicking the plus sign to check it whether it's actually white not off white so we don't need to use pure white I have an overlay which I'm going to position on top of this. So click on plus sign at the top corner. Then we're going to position this. I've already uh, so good, good, good. So after position it, I just feed it. I feed it using PSCC, okay, just to feed it. So after that has been done, I need to use an overlay shadow to cover the bottom here because it's not actually blending. That's why I didn't worry. So after that has been set, then I will bring in the image. You don't mind me. I don't want it to. I don't want to waste much of our time. That's why I just say let me bring this together, which I've already used before. You can use any image to achieve this. Okay. Then after that has been done, the next thing is to send this towards the back. So once you set that towards the back, then you go and bring an overlay shadow. Okay. So we'll position it on top of it and you can see this is amazing so we have everything cool right so the next thing we need to do after this has been done i guess we should uh, so we need just to uh, this should be here okay for us to be able to show you perfectly so i think i want to move this towards uh a little bit move it up to cover this picture and so after that i will now reselect so after the reselection i will centralize then go to the layer and make sure i lock everything so after it has been locked then the next thing we need to do is to bring the logo of our choice so take it for instance i will access my gallery the church logo i'm going to bring it here okay so be something of a good but since we have this i have to change the color totally okay so i guess what i'm going to change here will be uh i will copy the first so after the copy i will change the color go to the color side then i'll be changed like this go to crop and uh, crop it so so after the cropping i guess we should be able to have something of this nature so the next thing we need to do is to just um give it a gradient a little bit then reduce it uh if it is too much you can just leave it that way but there's only one way to make it bold okay you can just go to the shadow and apply a little shadow the shadow a little bit so two is okay then we'll go to plus sign and you reduce it so you should be able to have it stand out just as perfect as this so after we were able to do that i guess we're good to go i want to adjust all the image together so I want to bring it down a bit then and, and adjust it 
so i will look at the left and the right make sure that is uh it's really justified so once i'm able to do that i will go to the text area the entire preset preset so present so the crown uh church present this particular night where she prays okay so we need to just use a font called archivo let's use an archivo semi board to reselect it so after that reduce the size very well so after the reduction space the alphabet so you go to centralize and centralize it so we should be able to have something of this so you can still reduce it don't forget to lock so reduce it again and centralize now go to the color and apply same color as previous one okay okay cool so once we are able to do that or we can even change the color to uh, something like blue by using the color picker to pick the color from here then you have this so go to here and use the color picker we don't need to use the color pick anymore since we already select that so after that has been done we are going to i have the night worship praise i have it uh, using photo p to do the text effect so that is why i got this so the next thing is i will bring it this to i can bring the second one at the right side just a kind of uh, design so once we achieve this we can lock everything okay so one is not actually so let's align properly okay perfect so now that we are able to do that we can now move to the text area and we have our width what width um so with uh hello effect hello effect music with hello effect music then which kind of a font we want to use so let's say we use um archivo but so we want to use that hello effect music should be hello effect music so reduce the size to your text just we'll go to position it here centralize it change the color to white centralize to see if it is not done you can return it back it should be properly placed so after that we are going to copy so when we copy it we just type today is saturday okay today is saturday so we type saturday then we come here position the saturday here then we go to the text again and today is 21st okay 21st that is 21st of september so we have each shot like this then we increase the size to to be in line with this we increase it to be in line with this so and i guess it's cool like this so we can close that a little bit so after that has been done then we can go into the shape so we have a shape crop like this it should be in line and with the size of this so we reduce this a little bit and position it here so we're going to centralize everything at the end of the day so take you for instance i want to use a gradient so i will select use the click on color bucket and then use that to select uh select the color then i will come here then use that to select the color again okay so i will position this inside and we'll be able to have this so i will just 
move it like this okay i guess it's work so we have this okay perfect so the next thing we just need to do since we'll make this one work out so it will be very easy we just go to the text area just have a text to be around 530 pm then we'll position it here and reduce the size So we are going to centralize everything at the end of the day so after that has been done then we put in uh everything so we have um allure allures allures auditorium okay so we can reduce the size and uh, have the two position here so close the space in between the alloys and the auditorium so close it a bit so you will have something of this um but we have to make sure that uh, it's in line okay so we can space it a bit okay perfect so once we are able to write that so we can automatically position them at the center okay so we just justify it so after the justification we can later merge and uh, everything will seem to be cool so take it for instance we have to space it so we are going to space this why this should be spaced as well in two foot so now that we space it we have to give a uh, good color to this so i will use my color picker to do that so and i think i have to make it to be like gradient so use the color picker pick from this so i'm going to pick the deep one so go into the second color bucket then i will use that to pick from the lighter part okay lighter part so i will have to color of this size so i can still amend it by make one to be more deeper than the second one so it will be able to have a two color then adjust and they give it uh, different things so take it for instance we will just have it like this okay it will give us the two different color and we'll be able to blend with this but if it is too lousy so we can just adjust everything automatically and make sure it actually give us what we wanted so we'll be able to have something of this nature so after that we are going to select and uh, merge everything together so after the margin okay after the margin then we go to reduce it after the reduction then we use our relative position to position to the center and we'll be able to have this so uh now the next thing we need to just put there is come and be blessed come and be blessed so we can copy from here we just type come and be blessed so now we position that here so after this we are going to centralize then go to the space in between the alphabet just as this and uh, we'll position to the center so we'll be able to have this okay so we can still space it a little bit just to make it readable then we're going to bring it down a bit uh, for us to have this so everything seems to be cool and we are done with our design so if you are looking for a way of creating a church 
program flyer for a night worship parade or any related one you can just use this particular format and create a nice one so don't forget to keep on checking my channel for resources of this kind for the kind of inspiration like this for a kind of design like this so i believe we all learn something from here Thank for watching god bless you so to make everything more accurate we can just add a shadow to make it firm so we adjust the shadow not to be too much reduce the blur radius to three then go to offset y and reduce it to two then you will have a good result so you can go back and i give uh, a shadow to this copy the previous one reduce the opacity very well and enable the outer glow and offset y should be two as well so you can do the same thing to the one bit at the bottom here by adjust following the previous pattern and you are good to go so thanks for watching guys once again don't forget to save your work as ultra and format as png